to the question before uh, all the super chats from John Sarian. Uh, his question was about Braylon. Uh, forget the kid's name right yes. now. Braylon Shelby, excuse me. Yes. Um, from Texas. So uh, he's uh, friends with Texas, just outside of Houston or in the Houston area. Rod Wright, Roderick Wright, is from Texas. He played at Texas. He played in the league. Uh, defensive uh, ends coach, and he was out there and offered Shelby today or yesterday, um, 6'4", 240, um, with a long wingspan from the picture on uh, 247 uh, as a kid. So he had like, you know, almost 80 tackles. He had double-digit sacks, things like that. He's quick, he's twitchy, it looks like, uh, from a quick look at his huddle earlier. Um, I haven't done a super deep dive on him, but, um, you know, there <clears throat> he performed really well as a junior. And I think that he's a guy, uh, as it's termed in uh, the piece, uh, you know, Gabby Ruby on 247, um, you know, that he's a, a fast rising uh, senior. So that's somebody who really did well as a junior. And now people are taking notice in the spring evaluation season where, you know, you're going back and you're looking at the film, you're going back and looking at all those kind of things um, and then evaluating uh, the players and, you know, meeting with them and things like that and expanding your board. So Sarian is a guy um, who USC, Texas, Miami have all offered recently. I do not think that he's going to be a four star or a three star for long. He's going to be bumped up to a four star, especially with his combination of height and length and quick twitch athleticism. Um, it's early just because he has only recently gotten offered. I saw that Gabby, uh, when he tweeted out the piece about Sarian, said that Sarian on vacation last year took a self-guided tour of the University of Miami campus, which is gorgeous if you've never been, uh, but everybody here watching, of course, it's been the University of Miami campus. You know what I'm talking about, beautiful Coral Gables, you know, all those kind of things. But yeah, he went down and then uh, with his family took a self-guided tour. So he's somebody who's already been here. Now, that was not necessarily one of the necessary unofficial visits that you need in terms of uh, current cycle recruiting to get a player, but that does add some intrigue because he's been already. He's not just a guy from Houston who's like, okay, cool, whatever. But like he's already, you know, had feet on the ground in the 305. So yeah, I think that Miami could factor in. I know the Rod Wright factor of him being a Texas native, going back into his native uh, home state to recruit uh, can be a good thing uh, in this, but it's way too early to tell how serious it's going to be. But uh, I don't necessarily think that this is just a um, a speculative offer, just like, oh, we wanted to get on this kid's offer sheet to say that we offered him. Um, but it there is still recruiting that needs to happen with this guy. So um, he's on the board as potentially possible at this point. Uh, but, you know, there's plenty of distance to go here in this recruitment. So just know that. But seems to be um, a good player who's going to play in a Power 5 conference at a minimum. Uh, is getting looks from top-end Power 5 teams. So I think it's good that Miami has a Texas native uh, in Rod Wright recruiting him already offered and then you know if we decide to push we'll see um but you know you could do far worse than you know kicking the tires on a player of the caliber that i assume and it seems that's serious